Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Digital Ginger here, back with another, won't believe this, Rise of Kings video. I recently just got back into the game when the uh, new update released. And let me tell you, it's it's pretty good. They got some new heroes in here. They got a whole new format. Try that. Those are pretty cool. So what we're doing in the in this series here. It's kind of fun, kind of silly. I'm not sure how long this will last. But um, I'm not going to be training troops at all. I'm just going to be recruiting from these farms like this. Now, I thought it would be something fun and silly to do. I talked to Mr. King Devil here. He agreed to let me stay in this alliance. Tag along with him. I use the current alliance here. We got King Devil. Daredevil. Oh boy. I can't pronounce half that. Half of these. <laughs> this is terrible. We have Tit for Tat. Man. This, this right here is like almost a couple hours. It's not a couple, it's like four hours. At least. Okay, the gargoyle of Wayne. I don't know why they put the gar the gargoyles at the very start of the kingdom. Makes no sense. Like no one's gonna be able to one shot that on the first day. Uh, I need level four. Okay, so right now I'm just getting settled in with the attacking monsters. I'm trying to see what my limit is on attacking monsters first. My goal is to get a bunch of cavalry. Another thing I was thinking of, okay? If we go to Alliance, in the Alliance store, item list, am I going to be allowed to use these? The mercenary forces. Oop, I can't read it. But basically gives you 1,000 troops that's like level one Man, I'm trying to see what my limitations are gonna be Can I do this? No. Okay, we're just gonna chill a minute uh, I'm gonna try to focus on heroes throughout this kingdom here yeah I can't train troops I'm gonna need some good heroes. <laughs> I'm gonna need hella good heroes and a good dragon. Who you knows, maybe one day I'll break it and go wild on troops. Alright, so the setup is one war tent since I'm not gonna be training. I'm gonna have five of each five lumber mills. Five farms. And that's just because I can, you know, keep them. Yeah, I can keep the food. Now I'm gonna have five iron mines up here. And I'm just gonna fill out the rest with, you know, what I think I'll need. I think I'm gonna need more wood than anything. So yeah, I'll give you guys daily updates on this. So you can call this like episode one, I guess. There's really not much we're doing besides just killing monsters. Well, I need the I need these. Oh, another thing, I don't understand why they took out the XP. Like where you can buy XP. And for me it kinda makes the game a little bit better, but yeah, I was looking to buy some XP last kingdom. Yeah, 
that was not working out in my favor. I'm also going to have to figure out how to get around not having these points <laughs> in my daily tasks. this man I have uh, three other kingdoms I've been playing after including this one Let me see, not starting rallies are they no they're not oh my god I keep trying to donate I can't help it So the first day, I was able to get up to level 12. I could probably push it to like 13. Oh my, I almost, I almost did it. <laughs> this is not going to end well for me. So yeah, just tell me what your thoughts of... Some of your thoughts on what you think about this little ID I'm doing. I think it's fun. I think anyone can do it. I wouldn't spend any money on it. The level 2 is just from this guy. If I can speed some stuff up. Now that being said, man, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And peace out. Love y'all.